Today we are going to use PrepoMax to generate a Calculic simple file which is going to be computed on Cloud HPC. So we start by the generating a new moment, we select the unit. Into this moment we are now importing the geometry. Obviously the geometry has to be uh, made previously. Uh, using your preferred CAD system. All right, now I have to scale my geometry. If you see that the unit is quite uh, incorrect, so I have to report everything to meter. So we just scale by factor 1000. We zoom to the geometry, there it is. We create a mesh, so for the whole geometry and now we compute the mesh so and uh, I create mesh this defines a mesh that's correct now we select a material actually we select it from the material library we select just a common uh, type of steel now we apply the material to all our body and eventually we are going to run a static analysis in which we define boundary conditions so we want this uh, surface to remain still and there is also uh, asymmetry so we just specify uh, displacement to be zero along the y-axis for this surface and uh, uh, if we turn to the other side again displacement to be zero along this second axis all right eventually we apply a load uh, which can be a concentrated force we can select uh, this surface and select a load of 10,000 newton along the z axis okay so once we are happy with the settings, we just press save to file and this is going to ask us to uh, save a PrepMax file. We save it uh, over here. So uh, test pen analysis. And uh, we also export uh, the input file for the Calculix analysis. All right. Uh, so again, the same folder and that's the input analysis. This .imp file can be uploaded on CloudHPC, so website is cloudcftfairservice.it. We go to the storage and uh, we upload the .imp file. So just give me a second and uh, I'm selecting it. So uh, that's the input file. So calculix underscore one we press save and this is uploading the file uh, uh, for Calculix the input file contains everything the mesh, the settings, uh, the simulation boundary conditions so just with this you can run the analysis and then we go to the simulation page and we just select plus to add a new analysis uh, and we select uh, uh, the CPU type the machine type you want to use for the simulation and obviously the folder Calculix 1 and, and the Calculix uh, script we want to run which is version 2.18 this is launching the simulation on the platform we can see it over here if I enter the details of the analysis uh, you can see now it's pending but in a little bit uh, uh, the, the whole simulation is going to turn into, into running and the system is going to take care of that and to produce the results of the analysis. We just wait for it to become running. Obviously, it, it will take a few minutes uh, to actually complete the analysis. In particular, there it is, now it's running. In particular, if the simulation is quite big. Uh, but I uh, or have already completed this analysis previously. And uh, uh, once the analysis is completed, under the very same folder, on the storage you will be able to see the uh, results file 
Uh, for Calcolix, the results format is FRD. So we have to download this file over here, testproject.frd. So we just press the download button, the browser, there it is, it is downloading. And then we go here, back to Prepomax, and we just uh, open the results file. So we just go back to the download directory in here I can see the file which has just been downloaded I just double click that and here we are with the results of my simulation and in here we have all the uh, functions available from Prepomax so I can evaluate the uh, uh, stresses uh, principal max uh, uh, the stress sign uh, uh, the displacement, I can see the deformed shape, uh, and so on and so forth. 